Going to a new school can be daunting and even scary for students. Many of you probably know the feeling. Well, imagine if you had to go to a new school in a whole new country. Our first innovative educator of this school year is creating a classroom culture in which kids from different countries can feel comfortable and adjust to a new life here. Her biggest innovation was a switch in her career that's allowing her to pursue this passion. Because learning English is listening. What else? Speaking. Lisa Sterling teaches English language development to refugee students at Hillside Junior High School in Boise. I love it so much. She'd been a school psychologist for 14 years. Anything I could do with that population, I just, I couldn't get enough of it. So she made the switch to teacher, changing her career path to a passion she had to pursue. She's now in her third year. Some of it is just to teach them how to be a student and how to feel safe, but then to incorporate and kind of build their vocabulary. But 14-year-old Davido Roncuba of Congo wasn't so sure he liked Boise when he first moved here last year from a refugee camp in Uganda because of the snow. And then I was like, I want to go back home. But then, then I came to school, then I gained new friends. Yeah, the good friends. He feels safe, is thriving, and taking what he's learning home. For us, if you learn something that uh, it's new in your family, you can teach your brother or your, or your like your father. 13-year-old Grace Tuia from Uganda is thriving too. For me, like one year here, I know how to speak English. It's like impossible. Today, we're going to talk about the importance of culture. Sterling encourages the kids to hold on to their own culture while embracing new ones. I'm trying to teach them that a culture is just, it's a group. It could be our hillside culture. It could be, you know, your family culture. Sterling will get to learn about education in a different culture herself. She was selected to participate in the National Education Association Foundation's Global Learning Fellow Program. Next summer, she'll go with teachers from around the U.S. to work with teachers and students at a school in Peru. The idea is to kind of create what we call like a global kind of classroom. With students from several African countries, as well as Mexico, Venezuela, and Vietnam, Sterling's current class is global in its own way, but also a comfortable little culture that's allowing these impressive kids to see the world that's opening up to them. If I learn more English, like to be a guru, I can, I can be an interpreter. Mm -hmm. like interpreter? A, yeah. I want to be a doctor. They have so many dreams and they, 100% they can do it. I know they can. Lisa Sterling, this week's Innovative Educator. These kids are very impressive. By the way, both DeVito and Grace can speak several languages now as they work to perfect their English too. Also, as part of the NEA fellowship, Lisa Sterling will go to Washington, D.C. in October for a two-day workshop with the other selected teachers. And then again, they'll go to Peru in July. If you'd like to nominate a teacher as an innovative educator, you can do that. Just email us at innovativeeducator at ktvb.com.